Hey there! Welcome to Dull Motion's exclusive Patreon video. For this exclusive repaint video, I would like to start with something creepy and a lot of dull body modifications. So, for this repaint, I will be making a plague doctor. Around the 14th century Europe, the greatest disease in human history called the plague roamed the lands. It was also called the Black Death. Because it was so highly contagious, not many people wanted to treat the victims. A group stepped up, and for a high price they would treat you. Only, they had no medical background. So, not many patients would survive their treatment. The plague doctors, or how they were called, wore an outfit that would cover their whole body. Their signature bird mask was stuffed with herbs to cover the smell of the plague. Seeing pictures and customs of the plague doctor still makes me uncomfortable. So if it scares me, it's a perfect doll to repaint. Let's begin! For this repaint, I'll be using Monster High doll Rochelle. Her skin tone will be perfect for the body modification. Oh poor girl, she doesn't know where she got herself into. To begin, I first cut off her ears and cover the holes with a hot glue gun. Wait for it to dry. I then cut off her fingers and push in new holes to insert wire. These will be her new claws. Next, I'm going to saw off her lower legs just under the knees. The hole in the middle will be great to attach new legs. These I made out of aluminum wire. I use a two-part epoxy glue to fill up the holes and insert the wire. Some extra glue to be sure. I also glue the fingers for some strength. When the glue is fully cured, it's tied by epoxy clay. Like always, I mix part A and B together until I get a solid color. Now I can cover the wire with clay. Plague Doctor are rumored to have a bird-like mask. It's not sure if they really wore them, or it was more of a character. Still, I was very inspired by it, and I wanted this doll to have more bird-like features. Like bird-like legs and bony hands. Now for her face. I built up epoxy clay to form the beak. I don't want it to look like a mask, but more if it's a part of her head or face. Like she's a plague doctor creature or something. Yeah, let's make a new species. <laughs> the plague doctor bird. With a knife tool, I make little cracks in the skull. Then I let it dry for one day. When the clay is fully dry and hard, I'm going to sand down the clay with sandpaper to get a better transition from clay to plastic. Time to paint everything. I start with covering everything with black ink. This will really bring out the gaps later. Now I'm going to cover everything with the bony colored white paint. I'll be using the dry brush technique. This way, you'll still be seeing the gaps and the cracks in the skull. Because I'm already using acrylic paint, I'm going to continue with her face up. I start with two round red shapes. I paint the middle with a lighter color red. I wait for it to dry before I use pastel powders. I like to use pen pastels. I darken her eyes, the mouth, and the cracks in her skull. One stroke of a lighter color red in her eye. And of course the white dot for her shine. I also whiten the whites in her eye and highlight the corner of the mouth. Great, all done with the face up! But her body still needs some underwear. To stay in the Plague Doctor team, I cover her body with strokes of bandage tape. The 
To make the bandage tape more visible, I brush it with pastel powders. And to give her body some more color, I brush her elbows and knees with red pastel powders. Now I finally spray the entire doll a few times with Mr. Super Clear. Great, the body and face up is done, so let's make her outfit. I'll be using this black fabric. I cut out a pattern for a long jacket and sew everything together. Now she looks like a chicken. I sew on snaps and teeny tiny black buttons. To mimic the plague doctor look, and also to cover her rooting holes, I cover her head with black stretchy fabric. For fake leather I make, yeah, mm, shoulder warmers? Well, it looks great. Now for our black hat. I draw a circle on felt and cut it out. I roll a new piece of felt and sew the top on it. I flip it inside out and glue it with fabric glue to the circle. To get a hat. I gave it a stroke of black fake leather and decorate it with two black feathers. I also gave her outfit a belt. For small detail, I use again epoxy clay. Green this time. Yes, you can get epoxy clay in almost every color. I make her two badges, a stick and detail on a belt. After I painted it, I glue everything with super glue. And before I forget, I give her some shine in her eyes with a high gloss varnish. To give the plague doctor some items to hold, I use these miniature bottles. You can fill them with slime or glow in the dark paint for a nice effect. You can also make items out of polymer clay. After some labels, we have a full set of bottles. Well, that was it for this Patreon repaint special. I think the Plague Doctor will be a great start for our Patreon repaint family. And again, thank you for being a Patreon. I will see you in the next video. Bye!